Heard he's no joke. Hey, I'll be right back. Of course. I'm excited to be here. I plan to make a statement. How exactly do you plan to do that? Hey, excuse me. <laughs> Just want to introduce myself, picture to picture. Uh, Damon Sims. Damon, you've brought a lot of notoriety to Brinkson in a short amount of time. So what are your hopes for this showcase? I mean, all of this, you know, bring more attention to these athletes, help uh, players like Lando get the shine they deserve. Now, Lando, you're obviously the standout on Hawkins, Georgia, but what does it mean for you to be here playing and competing with an MLB prospect? I try not to focus on all of that, just focus on the game. Can we get a photo of the top two pitchers together? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Brinkston, man. I'm really looking forward to all this. Yeah, me too. Now, I know y'all thought this was going to be a filmy showcase, but it's not. I finally got the chance to embarrass the hell out of you on your own field. Hey, yo, Damon, hold up. You dropped something. Yo, okay. Kate. Super Negro, sir. <laughs> Not fast enough. 97? Come on, big dog. We're falling asleep over here. Where them triple digits at? I, I, 98. I'm getting warmer. Okay. Shut the hell up. Yeah, 101. About time. <laughs> Better get an MOB back on the phone with our arm. Yeah, at least I was up for the draft. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. You hear the rest of us now. <laughs> yeah, that's by a choice, though. A dumb choice. Me, I would have left these fools in the dust. Yeah, well, everybody ain't you, is they? Yeah. You're right about that. Party kind of lit, huh? Whatever your beef is with me, I'm just trying to change the image of HBC to sports. So are we. All right, and cool, so we all on the same page. Not really. You just using this as an opportunity to boost your brand. Come on, man, that's cap. And even if I was, ain't y'all trying to do the same thing with me? Embarrass the MLB prodigy so you can boost your own image? Just returning the favor. <laughs> what are you even talking about? I was preparing to come to Brinkston this fall. Yeah. Shaw scouted me and everything. And then here you come. With your big press conference announcement. Suddenly you're interested in coming to HBCU. And Shaw's out. And of course, Brinkston weren't checking for me no more. Because now, they had the great Damon Sims. You know my whole fam graduated from here? That's a whole legacy out the window just because you wanted to come and prove a point. Now you tell me how that helps us. Son. Thank you, sir. Feels good to finally be here. <laughs> but that's not what we're talking about. Well, maybe it should be. My family came from Birmingham. And two years after the boycott, my great uncle's car service business went bankrupt. So what? You're pro-segregation? No, look. I just think there's a conversation about whether integration undercut the unity and financial stability of the community. 
An all-black environment has its rewards. Case in point, the HBCU you're in right now. See, not everything is so simplistic. <laughs> no one said anything about simplicity. Okay, good points all around, but we're out of time. More to come. Hey, so, uh, that was fun. I'm, um... The dude who tried to mansplain me in front of the entire class. So now what you call mansplaining, I just call healthy debate. Well, I mean, I'm open to a healthy debate, but next time, just leave your simplistic arrogance and ego at home. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited to be here at Brinkston. It's been a dream since I was a kid. And I promise, I'm gonna give everything to this team. Lo and behold. Mind if I join you? Look, um, Lando, I might have to accept you on the team, but don't get it twisted. We're not about to be boys. Wait, this is Lando? Yeah. Actually, I was talking to her. I thought we could finish our debate from class. You know, handsome young brothers are always welcome, so. Actually, n no, the seat is taken. Sorry. Right. Y'all enjoy your day. We will. Get one thing straight, all right? You're not better than me. Maybe you have more opportunity, more shine, more talent. No. Well, if you really believe that, it's one way you can prove it. Just wanted to say congratulations on the win today. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Hey, I told you I wanted to come to Brinkston, right? Yeah, um, something about family legacy. My dad, his dad, a couple of uncles, my older brother, all lions. I want to add to their legacy. Then why are you telling me this? Because I know legacy is important to you too. But all this family issues you got going on with Coach is getting away. Oh, no, Coach Raymond is not my family. I watched you too. Let's see how you get under each other's skin. Only family can do that. So yeah, you had a good game today, but eventually, all this family mess is gonna bleed over. It's gonna bring this team down. Now you're supposed to be a leader around here, right? I know I wouldn't want that to be my legacy. for the invite. Well, I'm still not sure this ain't no setup. <laughs> Being new, it can get lonely. And I know that all too well. And I also didn't give you the warmest of welcomes, so consider this a do-over. Appreciate that. And where it may not have been the warmest of welcomes, it was a fun one. <laughs> well, I do love a good debate, but you were right. The girl you met this week, it wasn't quite me, so. Hi. Simone Hicks. Lando Johnson. Lando, come on in. You are on dumplings duty. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, Simone, sorry. Uh, yeah. My bad, I would stay and talk, but I gotta- You got a call, yeah, yeah, me too. Listen. If you got fam at East Lennox University, call them first. People are saying there was a bomb threat made there too. And if it's true, this could be a coordinated attack. Uh, maybe you should just not say that too loudly before we know for sure, okay? People are scared enough. Yeah. Who's being shut down? How do you know? I can see the truck from here. Look, the Wi-Fi is down too. It's probably just the FBI doing anything. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold your breath for seven. And then exhale for eight seconds.
four, seven, eight breathing. You get panic attacks too. Caught him a lot as a kid when my dad was deployed. He was scared he wasn't gonna make it back. Yeah. And now the parent was worried about the child. We were on the phone, everything went down. I have a son, Shay. We were on the phone when everything went down, so. Your panic attack was about him. These coordinated bomb threats, they're just a reminder. But there are spaces that Shay won't be accepted in just because of how he looks, and there's nothing I can do about it. But now, Shay is safe. Okay. But there is something you can do. I see a lot of people who can use a friend or some help. I'm good. You're impressive. Well, you didn't think I had that arm, did you? Actually, I was talking about this. You tabled your fear and worry for your son and helped everybody else. That's impressive. Well, I did have a little help. <laughs> I thought you and I were clear on our no sleepover policy. Well, it's not like I planned it. Well, you need to plan to get out of here before everyone wakes up and mistakes this little arrangement for something that it's not. Like what? A relationship? Mm. That one hurts, Simone. It really does. You know what's funny, uh, I don't remember you living here. I don't remember where I live, being in your business. For the free day? It's gonna be like homecoming, with all the stuff they got planned, so it could be fun to explore. No ulterior motives, just friends, hanging out. Calling us friends is a bit of a stretch, don't you think? Damn, she tough. <laughs> all right, I'm not your friend, and we're not more than friends, so. What am I? You're a Lando. And that's exactly how I like it. I've seen this a billion times. Still can't find the words. Boy, you just got to campus. How have you seen this a billion times? Because I was there when it was being painted. My mom's the artist. Wow. She's got a great eye. Yeah, she does. She used to say, baby, out of all my art, you are my best creation. <laughs> <laughs> Corny, right? Actually, as a mom, I think it's sweet. So I've been watching you since you rode up in here. Okay, because that's not weird. You grabbed a library map on your way in. You ain't never been in here? Everything I need for classes is in the West Library. But it's part of the tour during freshman orientation. I never actually went on the orientation tour. I was already too busy with tennis. Wait, so no BU freshman rite of passage? I'm sorry, no BU rite of what now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. It's about to go down. That was fun. Oh my god. I've been wanting to try that since I transferred in. And you didn't want to do it alone? Half the fun is looking stupid in front of somebody else. Mission accomplished. Uh better get going. We haven't even hit the quad yet. I heard Coach Marcus can barbecue. Actually, I was gonna get some reps in on the court. You're gonna go to the court on your day off? What's wrong with that? Everything. Look, I get it, all right? I love baseball. It's my crap. But it's not my life. Okay, well, tennis is my life. I wanna make moves in the sport and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Yeah, except for self-care. Excuse me? You're never gonna be elite on the court unless you take care of yourself off the court. I know that. Then come to the quad with me. We have a day off for a reason. No, I don't have to prove anything to you. You don't even know me, Lando. And yet I can see that you're trying to keep yourself busy to avoid dealing with your feelings around the bomb threat. On a day that's supposed to be all about dealing with those feelings. You know what? Me, you, this fountain, it was a bad idea. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm 
sorry for flipping out on you. What you said earlier just made a little nerve. Because I was right. <laughs> but lucky for you, I'm not the type of dude who says I told you so. Loki, you just did. <laughs> <laughs> do you want this apology or not? No apology necessary. And judging by your relaxed look, you eventually found whatever piece you needed to find today. That's all I wanted for you. Uh, for you? Maybe half of one? Uh, um, so I heard that. How's your history project going? Integrity and history is such a broad topic. It's got me stuck. Me too. Uh, do you want to work together? Like, maybe later tonight? Yeah, sure. Uh, but text me later. I've got to get to the health department for my drug screening, and I'm running late. Yeah, I did mine this morning, and it's a long line, so bring a book. <laughs> Look, I know it's getting late, but I'm still down to talk about the history assignment if you are. Seriously? So you're not going to explain what happened with your friend? That was so bad. She's dating my ex, and apparently they've caught feelings. So, instead of having a secret relationship behind your back, she flew here to tell you. <laughs> of course you're defending her. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. No, it's something. I'm just not surprised that the guy who leaked Damon's practice tape to the media would see no problem with Layla violating girl code. And who said I leaked the video? Damon? And instead of coming to me and asking me about it, you just made your assumption. Lando, I didn't mean to instead make it. Instead of judging people, maybe ask questions and listen to their point of view. The ladies ain't ready. Who said 10 minutes? Man. So you just gonna run your mouth behind my back? You gotta be Lando, kidding me. Hey, what have you been doing, hey. Lando? Huh? No, hey. I mean, what you been doing? Hey. No, I'm not about to do this right now, all right? Not right now. Handle your business after the game. You hear me? Um, I'm sorry. All this tape stuff is none of my business. The thing is, I did leak it. All right, but it wasn't about Damien. I realized I couldn't play for someone like Sean anymore. But I couldn't legally transfer unless Damien was committed to Hawkins. The boy was taking his sweet ass time, like his future was the only one on the line, so I had to force him into making a decision. If you want to judge me for that, then go ahead. What I want is for us to be friends. So we friends now, huh? <laughs> Consider it an upgrade from acquaintance with benefits. <laughs> uh, 